Time for my final thought. Now, July 25th is Puerto Rico Constitution Day, a public holiday in Puerto Rico since the adoption of its present constitution in 1952. Now, it's a celebration of Puerto Rico moving from colony status to Commonwealth status within the United States. July 25th was chosen for Constitution Day to replace Occupation Day, which commemorated the arrival of U.S. troops in Puerto Rico in 1898 during the Spanish-American War. Now, like D.C., Puerto Rico is part of the United States. It's not considered a state, and their lone representative in Congress has no voting power except in committees. Como se dice, no taxation without representation? Puerto Rico has been occupied by Americans since 1898, and despite what many weirdo Americans think, residents of Puerto Rico have been U.S. citizens since 1917. Which makes, all the more, which makes it all the more inexplicable that Puerto Rico is still recovering from last hurricane season, as this year's hurricane season is just beginning. Now, the United States government has not had Puerto Rico's back like it would have for any of the 50 states. We would have declared a state of emergency and dedicated as many resources as possible to make things right if Hurricane Irma had devastated Florida the way it did Puerto Rico. And it's shameful that many people suffered for the better part of a year as a result of our government's inaction. But today isn't just a day of reflection, it's a day of celebration. The people of Puerto Rico are among the most resilient and strongest people on earth, and when their own country turned their backs on them, they kept pushing forward. And to you, I say, happy Constitution Day. We're going to continue this conversation on Facebook. You guys